Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has released the next optional bug fix C release update for Windows 11 23H2 to the insiders in the release preview channel where it's undergoing final testing before rolling out to the general public. And the next optional update will be KB5065790. And because it is in final testing, if we head to the calendar, I would suggest it would roll out in that fourth week of September, possibly starting Tuesday the 23rd of September 2025, like Microsoft is known to do. Now, I've just posted a video on Windows 10 receiving its final optional update in preview. I will leave the video link down below and in the end screen. And very similar to Windows 10, Windows 11 23H2 will be ending support in November. So the November patch Tuesday will be the final day that Windows 11 23H2 will receive an update according to Microsoft. So this means this will be the second last optional update we will receive for Windows 11 23H2 as mentioned. We will get one at the end of September and we'll also get one at the end of October. And then that final patch Tuesday will be end of support for 23H2. Now this is quite a minor update, which I think is understandable. The OS is almost at its end of support. So there's just a handful of fixes that Microsoft um, has rolled out. So this is a non-security bug fix update. So I'm just gonna mention them all quickly for the purpose of this video. Microsoft has fixed an issue that caused Windows sign-in screens to stop responding after a user enters the SIM pin during sign-in using a mobile broadband connection. The update brings profiles up to date for certain mobile operators. The update addresses an issue that affects display configuration changes during remote desktop protocol sessions with multiple monitors. There are two input fixes. The first, they fixed an issue where some characters didn't display correctly when using the Chinese input method editor. The second input fix is the update addresses an issue where certain Chinese characters appeared as empty boxes in some text fields when a character limit was set. And the second last one, they fixed an issue where viewing the printer queue in settings for a shared printer caused the print queue user interface to stop working. And the final fix is a fix for system services and reliability which is always nice to see so that's what microsoft is testing in final preview with our next optional update kb5065790 for windows 11 23h2 which will be running out to the stable version towards the end of this month so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one